Threema is an application that has widespread use as a secure messaging application and has been adopted by a number of pretty high profile users. I think like the Swiss government or like something like that uses it. So finding a number of vulnerabilities in this was kind of a shock for people who assume that this was like very well vetted, but they had kind of rolled their own crypto protocol in some way. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Michael. Cryptography yes. protocol in some ways. And in that case, they, they made a couple of mistakes that they're insisting did not have any practical implications, but researchers were kind of alarmed by it. So let's take a look at some of the problems that Threema had and what they actually mean. There's a couple of different things that they've uncovered. One of them is the empirical key compromise impersonation. This looks as though it's an mm -hmm. attack where you could use the fact that once you were given a key, you could replay it over and over to impersonate a server that's trusted basically forever. They found something called a vouch box forgery. So this is something where you could theoretically give somebody access to your account by sending what's called a vouch box. And it looked as though it could be manipulated in some circumstances to send a message to another user and compromise your own account in doing so. There was message reordering and deletion. So this is a, a vulnerability where somebody acting as a Threema server could either send messages out of order or just delete messages that they don't want to be delivered. Replay and reflection. So being able to replay messages back to a user or take one message and replay it like multiple times. Compromat attack. This was patched in a previous version of the server, but they could trick a client into sending the same key while talking to the server. Because this is patched already, like I'm not really going to focus on that one too much. Cloning via Threema ID export. This is where if your device was left unlocked or unattended, somebody could export their device information and have it so that anybody could then clone their account and get their messages. This is something that, of course, does require some degree of social engineering or like it requires you to have left your device in a place where somebody can get to. But it is a little bit alarming that you can like essentially add a new device to your account without giving the primary user much notification here and not having any controls against doing this. There was also a compression side channel. So if somebody was able to cause a number of backups to be made, it's possible to be able to brute force the master key in the circumstance, which should not be possible. So it looks like they were able to extract the victim's private key in a few hours. And in some cases, a few hours may be enough time for this attack to actually be practical. So Threema is claiming that these never had a real world impact. Some of these have already been patched. Some of these have been just kind of discounted as like not very likely. But yeah, this is definitely something you're going to want to check out if you're interested in secure messengers and how they can be compromised because Threema is not super thrilled about this disclosure. And they're just saying that a lot of this like just doesn't matter or would be too difficult to really be considered to be a practical attack.